Welcome back to Joe on a Boxing. As you may well know, our Turba Turbiev of uh, Russia via Canada. I think he's a Canadian resident now. Um, he takes on Anthony Yard of Britain for the WBO, WBC and IBF light heavyweight titles this Saturday. And he is a red hot favourite. But let's not pretend that Yard isn't a, what you might call a live underdog. Um, is it deserved that Baturbiev should be the favourite? I would say so. Even though he's 38, uh, even though making light heavyweight, as he's done his whole professional career, contradicts the weight he was as an amateur, he still somehow finds a way to make 175 and be very, very effective. He currently has 18 wins, 18 victories by knockout. No defeats, no draws. He was last seen uh, June last year, knocking out Joe Smith Jr., who you know, is a heavy-handed guy himself, was no match for Baturbiev. Um Baturbiev just smashed right through him in two rounds. Prior to that, it was Marcus Brown in nine rounds. Um, in ten rounds, he did away with um, Adam uh, Dainez. Was that the guy's name? I can't remember his name offhand. Um, and that was over in Russia, actually. Um, and, of course, Alex Alexander Groz Govodnik. Uh, that was a big, big win in ten rounds for Baturbiev. So... You know, you're talking about a guy who's just been obliterating everyone and is doing it either early or late or in the middle rounds. I mean, it was four rounds with Callum Johnson. Um, there was a fighter who, after the Johnson fight, it was a five-round knockout of a guy whose name I can't remember. But the point is that uh, Baturbiev, he has that power and he, he'll either end it early, middle rounds or late rounds. No problem, no problem. 18 wins, 18 KOs. 38 years old. But still, he makes light heavyweight. So he is a powerhouse, but he has been flawed in the past. He was flawed most notably, if you're a British fan, by Callum Johnson. Um, and that was a genuine knockdown. That wasn't really a flash knockdown. I mean, there was some weight behind that punch. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he can be hit. And if you can be hit, you can be hurt. And you can, I think he was also on the floor against Jeff Page Jr. very early on in his career. But that, that really was a flash knockdown, if memory serves. And he stopped him in the second round. But but if you look at the person in the other corner, who is Anthony Yard, that is a also a very big, light heavyweight. A very powerful man um, who, if he hits you, he's going to hurt you. He is going to hurt you. Well, Yard himself has, has uh, two defeats. One by stoppage to Sergei Kovalev, one on points to Lyndon Arthur, which was avenged with a fourth round stoppage. 23 wins and 22 knockouts or stoppages. So he himself hits hard. And again, we're talking a big guy. But Terbiev in the past, because he boils himself down, uh, he's been called a bit of a weight bully. He won't be able to bully Yard in physical, purely in physical terms, maybe in talent possibly or tactics or whatever but not in physical terms because Yard himself is a big big guy at the 175 poundage the problem with Yard is that <laughs> there is a phrase which I'm sure you've heard of prep, um, failure to prepare to prepare is preparation to fail and I can't get that out of my head when I think of Anthony Yard's career because this is a guy who didn't have an extensive amateur history um he turned pro, I don't remember how old he was. This, he probably turned pro, I think it was sort of 20, 15, 14 or 15. So he's been a pro for about seven years. Um, and you would have expected a guy with that, that lack of, of amateur background to go through the traditional route of British, Commonwealth, European, then and on to world. Um, that, those incremental steps that Frank Warren is normally so good at doing with his fighters. Daniel Dubois was the last one he did it with, just off the top of my head. Billy Joe Saunders was another one, you know. But Warren, certainly being the age he is, he's 70, 71, he goes back to the days when those that was the way you brought along a young fighter, especially one that didn't have a big amateur background. Certainly in the case of Yard, uh, that would have been hugely beneficial, but that, they didn't do that. No, 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 no. They jumped, uh, jumped in with... Um, this thing called this bizarre sort of, I don't know, what was it? The, it was a European title by the, I think it was a WBO European title, a couple of those secondary belts. And um, uh, he did beat Chris Hobbs for the Southern Area Light Everway title, but you would think he would he would have jumped up to 
gone for the British title, then the Commonwealth, then the European. But no, 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 he won something called the WBO, European title, uh, which in no shape or form prepared him for even a diminished Sergei Kovalev, who 12 weeks after knocking out Anthony Yard with a jab in the 11th round, was himself knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. And so you can say, well, this was a this was a Kovalev that was, you know, on the downside, Yard, it was a calculated gamble is how you could phrase it. I suppose in some some sense that's correct because in the sixth round, Yard did have Kovalev in all sorts of trouble. And the famous quote from Tunde Ajay, the trainer and manager of Yard was, empty the tank, you know. And of course, Yard did empty the tank and then couldn't go the 12 round distance. But the point is, you know, the failure to, to prepare yourself for a tough, gruelling, world-class 12-round fight, it, it just wasn't... That, that it, was, it was so apparent, and the, the, the schooling, the, it just wasn't there for Yard. Where, where was the preparation for that? Where, where were the tough 10-rounders with awkward guys of different styles who were going to bring you along, teach you things, who, you know, teach you how to pace yourself, guys you could hit and wouldn't go anywhere? Where was all this? You know, where were the fringe contenders? Where were the top 15, the top 12 guys? You know, no, they were, they were, they were nowhere to be seen. So when Yard did get in the ring, even with a diminished Kovalev, who, you know, I mean, he wasn't shot. He's, he's probably still not shot. Um, but he was on the down. He's, he's over the hill a little bit, but not, not that much. You know, um, Kovalev was able to handle him. Koval, Kovalev, with all his experience, with all those world world title fights, twice going in with Andre Ward and, you know, um, the two fights with uh, Alvarez, not Canelo Alvarez, Aleda Alvarez, um, you know, th th this th this prepared him to to face a potential catastrophe, to face a crisis and to come back, which is precisely what he did. He went back to his boxing, he let um, Yard shoot his bolts and then Yard was just out of gas and he was he was on fumes, running on fumes in the last few rounds and got knocked out with a jab. Okay. And that was exhaustion. That wasn't, the, you know, Kovalev's always had a very powerful jab, a ramrod jab, but no, it was a complete uh, failure to prepare that brought about the downfall of Anthony Yard against Sergei Kovalev. Now, does that mean that had he gone the traditional route, winning domestic titles, European titles, and then on to world, that he would have beaten Kovalev? We can't say for certain, but it would have given him a much, much better chance. You know, fighting those fringe contenders would have done him... It would have given him an idea of what it's, what it's like to do 10 rounds, what it's like to go 12 tough rounds, to pace yourself bit by bit by bit by bit, you know, over those 12 rounds to maybe give a round away in order to, you know, reserve some energy and come back stronger in the next two or three rounds. You know, this is all part of being a world class fighter. And he just didn't have that. So having been knocked out by Kovalev, which was in 2019. What's he done over the last yeah, over the last three years? Well, he had a couple of knockover jobs. One against a guy called Ramirez, who had a I think four wins, 48 defeats, and a couple of draws, two or three draws, whatever it was. Knocked him out in two rounds. That was the following year, 2020. He beat Deck Spellman in six rounds, and Deck was coming off a couple of tough fights with. Um, I mean, Deck's a good domestic level fighter, but he's a tough guy. But He'd had a couple of tough tough fights. One was against Lyndon Arthur, who, who oddly enough, then faced Yard and beat him on points. And it was a close, maybe a contentious decision, you could say. It was a split decision. But Yard lost and, and Arthur won. You can make a case for Arthur winning that fight. You know, I don't think it was a robbery at all. Um, and then, it, then he went in a, a one-round knockout with uh, Alex uh, Thoran, who I'd never heard of. I've never heard of him before or since, who had a glossy record, 23 wins and five defeats. Um, and then he faced Arthur again, this is Yard, of course, and knocked him out in four rounds. And then he, he beat Stefani uh, Koikov in November of last year. So uh, that was in three rounds. So is this preparation to face Baturbiev? I would say not. I would say that at best, Linden at the moment is a good domestic level fighter, um, probably European level, but world class, yet to prove it. Um, Koikov certainly wasn't world class. He had a glossy record: fourteen wins and one defeat. And so what? You know, it's what it's who you fight, not who you have necessarily beaten. Um, I just don't see that this is good preparation to face Baturbiev. Now, what does all this add up to? Well, 
I can't get past the fact that Baturbiev is tried and tested. And whenever I do a prediction, it's going to be with the presumption that both guys have made the weight right. Because they are both big, big he light heavies. Even the fact that Baturbiev is 38 years old, I think he's a... Let's assume he's made the weight right. Let's assume Yard's made the weight right. Even, even though he's 38, there haven't been any hints that he would get old overnight. He can be hurt if hit. I think Yard's best, best chance is to, oddly enough, to let it all hang out in the first four rounds. Try to get rid of Baturbiev early. Um, I think if it goes beyond six, Yard's in trouble just through sheer stamina. He is quite a muscle-bound guy as well. Baturbiev himself cuts the ring off very well. He carries his power late. He's got a real spite about him. Um, he doesn't. People say he's got slow feet. He doesn't. There isn't a. He's not flashy with his footwork by any stretch of the imagination. But he cuts the ring off very well. He puts steady pressure. He's got a very good jab. The pressure is usually mental as well as physical, which is why when when he fought um, um, Marcus Brown. He kind of broke Brown's heart, really. Um, I see this as being it, quite possibly Yard floors Baturbiev early. That's, I wouldn't rule that out at all. But I think if Yard don't get him out of there after four rounds, Baturbiev will come on strong in the middle rounds, begin to sap Yard's energy. I would say he, I would, my prediction would be with, with the, by controlling the range with the jab, by putting the mental pressure on yard as well as the physical stuff with he works some nice you know some nice combinations Baturbiev um, yard tends to fight in spurts when he fires his combinations they look slick but I'm just worried about his engine his stamina yard I don't I don't think he's had the schooling and the and the the career preparation to go 12 hard rounds against a, an absolute killer like Baturbiev I think Baturbiev will stop Yard between the 6th and the 10th. Might Could be the middle rounds, could be 6, 7, 8, that sort of thing. Um, so I, I'm picking Baturbiev to, to knock out Yard. I wouldn't rule out a Yard win early on. Again, I think that's his best chance, but I just think it's going to be very, very difficult, very difficult if uh, it goes beyond four for Yard to find a way to win. Um, Baturbiev does go on the floor. Has been on the floor a couple of times. Can be hit. Yard hits hard, but but even then, I wouldn't say Yard was a one punch hitter. I think it's more he hurts you with one punch. But can he keep you there? I don't know. I, I only see a Baturbiev win, to be honest with you. So, what do you think? Leave your comments below. Um, what's your take on the fight? Um, like the channel if you you know subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. That'll be a big help. What's your opinion on? This fight, do you think Yard can win? Do you think this is Baturbiev's fight all day long? Let me know what you think. I, I like reading your comments. And um, again, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It takes a second to hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. I always appreciate your time. We shall speak again soon. And of course, bye for now. Take care of yourselves.